Hey guys, and welcome back to Fierce Gaming, and today we'll be talking about why this place is the best place to land on the map. If you like to play passive, I recommend landing here. Here are a few tips and tricks on why you should land here. Now many people don't expect this, but Rickety Rig actually has tons of chests and ammo boxes. Rickety Rig actually has a vault that's already open for you, and the vault has two chests and one supply drop, so you are guaranteed a good weapon and a launch pad. If you don't feel like you got enough loot from Rickety Rig, you could head over to the Fortilla. Even if the storm is coming in, you could easily head over to the Fortilla using a Whirlpool or a boat. And don't forget the Chug Jug and the Mythic Burst is there too. Now Rickety Rig is actually very good for landing in solo, duos, and squads. It has enough loot for all of the players and it also has a reboot van. It may come to a surprise, but no one actually really lands here. As you're seeing on the background, this was the only player that landed here. So like I said in the beginning, if you like to play passive, I recommend landing here. So you may be thinking, Rickety Rig is really far from the zone. It is usually out of zone. But there are so many whirlpools and boats, so it'll never get caught up in the storm. As you can see on my screen, I rotate over to Hydro 16 and use the whirlpool there. I then rotate over to the circle. But if you happen to be in the zone, I recommend going over to the vault. Here's what the vault looks like. As you can see, the open vault is northeast of Rickety Rig. I'm also using a helicopter that I got from Rickety Rig too. So when you land here, you'll never have to worry about transportation. Here's the vault, and as you can see, there's one chest in here, and there's also a loot drop that I got a legendary Flamas out of. So if you don't feel like heading to the Fortilla and using that vault, you could use this one. This one's actually very good because you don't need a key card. And you also don't need to worry about henchmen either. Now I've actually landed here a couple times and I actually got a lot of wins out of it. Because this place has such easy transportation, it's a lot easier to get more wins. And if you don't like to play aggressive, this is a great place to land. And once you rotate out of Rickety Rig, there'll only be like 25 people left. And don't forget, if you like more loot, you can head over to the Fortilla too. This place has such easy transportation, such good loot, and barely any people land here. So I really recommend landing here if you guys like to play passive. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. And don't forget, we are very close to 100 subscribers and that would be a very cool achievement. If you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.